Yeah, all three of us, for example, at this desk are certainly vaccinated. As Jim just indicated, he's got three in them already. But if one of us were to get a breakthrough, uh, breakthrough uh, um, uh, uh, infection, would our doctor advise us if this is available to actually take the five-day course? Would it be your expectation that that would be the case? Obviously, it would come down to your physician, but. We've seen with the, some of the breakthrough cases is that you still see hospitalization and bad outcomes. And so I would imagine your physician would want you to take this to make sure that you stay out of the hospital um, and obviously avoid that. Right. And we'll see what the FDA um, label is. But ultimately, as Wendy pointed out, it's a decision. If you're symptomatic, uh, w w your physician, you know, it's about having that option available to you. In addition, yeah. um, we announced in September that we, Merck and Ridgeback have started a prophylaxis trial which will look at whether or not you've been exposed to somebody with COVID. Taking this treatment, does it stop you from getting it? All right. Yeah. Uh, you know, Wayne, uh, you know, I referenced this, of course. I can remember a conversation you and I had on March 6th. I remember the date when you indicated to me that I better be very careful out there. Stop taking the subway is what you basically said. You said some other things, too. In your mind, is this day a, a, a significant one in terms of uh, our ability to deal with this virus? Absolutely. You know, what we're afraid of with the virus is, is bad outcomes, right? We, we, there are four other coronaviruses that have been circulating uh, naturally that give people mostly uh, common cold symptoms. And we handle that and we live a normal life. And the idea is that all of these innovations that have been coming out of the biopharma industry are designed to help get us back to that normal life. And if you know that your risk of being hospitalized or having a bad uh, illness or obviously death has been dramatically reduced by all of these countermeasures, including hopefully molnupiravir, then you feel more comfortable conducting activities the way we always did. So that was the hope when we first spoke in March. And we're super excited and happy that, you know, this drug has worked the way we hoped it would and that it's so easy uh, to distribute and to manufacture from a, from a logistics standpoint, this can, can be distributed around the globe. Um, and we can make large uh, quantities available, and our partners can as well. And Merck's manufacturing is really incredible, and they've done an incredible job, and we're super happy with what they've been able to accomplish.